Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Bone Out of Tarot. Today we're going to get into your Twin Flame 7 day reading. Take a look at a connection that you have with somebody uh, and what that connection holds for the next 7 days. Alright guys, so if you are a regular on my channel, you'll know that I'm a Sagittarius and I love reading for Sagittarius most of all, of course. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Alright, let's get right into it. Animal Spirits, going to pull out two Animal Spirits to see... What kind of animal spirits you and your person may be resonating with or may not? It's fine. Okay, um, let's take a look. Just for the next seven days in this connection. Jumpy cards today. Jumpy, jumpy. All right, Sagittarius and their person. Come out with the Nightingale and the Panther. All right, so the Nightingale and Panther, we're talking about air and fire. The Nightingale is the animal spirit for the singer, the orator, the person who uses their voice uh, to bring meaning, to bring creativity, right? to bring inspiration. Um, the thing about the Nightingale is that um, it's a very unassuming bird. It's just a regular sort of brown-plumed bird. You really wouldn't... Uh, to, you know, notice it for its coloring or anything like that. It's when it opens its beak and begins to uh, sing, as it were, right, uh, that you notice how beautiful the nightingale is. So this is a beautiful quality of communication, air energy. Uh, and again, also for the singer, for those who, who, who like to do poetry, those who like to um, write songs, anything that is lyrical. Now, the panther fire energy and comes in uh it's the animal spirit for chaos right the panther brings chaos this chaotic event that comes like a panther pounces out of the dark right boom um and the thing though with the panther is that once that dust settles once the lights come back on and everything is kind of dealt with you realize it was necessary the panther was necessary to sort of get rid of things that are old that are unnecessary uh, things, you know, to just shake things up so that the only thing that is left are the things that you truly need going forward. It can be quite a dev devastating animal energy to deal with because the, it, it's so far, fiery and it comes out of nowhere, nowhere, right? You know, being the spirit of, of chaos, right? Um, but again, ultimately, it is for a kind of a cleansing that happens in your life, all right? And it's very, very uh, important that it happens. So this can be also the energy that you guys are dealing with, Sagittarius. Let's get right into your cards. Let's see what Sagittarius and their person are dealing with over the next seven days. Show me. All right, Sagittarius, you come in with five of swords. Uh-oh, Wheel of Fortune is how you see them. What you desire and what needs to happen. Wow. They come in as king of cups. They see you as the fool. They desire the star. What needs to happen is three of swords. Bottom of the deck. Empress energy is there, right? The Empress. To remind us that this is... An extremely important, important time, Sagittarius, for you to be nurturing yourself. The Empress is all about self-love, self-nurturing, right? Being your divine, feminine, creative self so that you can be um, the divine mother, the divine wife, the divine, you know, uh, companion to others. Um, and so... Uh, she, she has this strength of, of, of knowing what is best for her and doing what is best for her. Let's get right into a Sagittarius. This is interesting. There is a, there is some, there is a, some shadow here right away I see, right? We have Five of Swords and King of Cups. Five of Swords is how you come in Sagittarius. Your person comes in as a King of Cups. So Sa Five of Swords, first of all, is the card for defeat, giving up, having had enough, right? 
the individual you see there, you know, he's got the three swords. He, you know, this is someone who doesn't really play very fairly. They don't play by the rules. They're quite underhanded. And so the five of swords is a power struggle card that comes in. And it's generally when we have decided to have had enough with a power struggle that we have engaged in with someone who doesn't play by the rules. Someone who doesn't play fairly, you start to realize that even engaging with them is bringing you down, right? It's lower in your vibration. And so it's not so much that it's defeat, it's more an acquiescence, right? It's understanding that sometimes you can't win with certain people and just carrying on with them is, more, is worse for your psyche and your soul and your emotions than, than just walking away. King of Cups is how they come in. Interesting. Well, the King of Cups is fire of water. This is someone who, very fiery with their emotions, very, they, the, there can be some shadow side here. Certainly if I see you dealing with five of swords, we may be dealing with someone who, King of Cups is very arrogant, possessive, and jealous is the shadow side of King of Cups. Can be very, very jealous, right? Um, when he's exalted, he is the best in the relationship. He brings comfort and stability to the relationship. He knows exactly what he wants, and he communicates it in a very healthy way. Strong. He's very strong. Definitely the dominant one in the relationship. However, uh, his shadow side can be domineering, possessive, jealous. Um, and so your person may be dealing with some shadow side of that, certainly if you're feeling like you're dealing with a five of seven, uh, uh, excuse me, a five of swords there. Now, how do you guys see each other? Wheel of Fortune for you and for them to fool. So you see them as an opportunity that has come in, right? This is, uh, you may have met them in a very sort of like, wow, you know, a moment of like, oh, this was fortunate. This was meant to happen. The wheel has turned and this opportunity has come in. The Wheel of Fortune is luck and is, uh, you know, is timing also, right? Uh, the wheel turns for us, right? And so when the wheel turns, it is us also part of our, uh, part of our uh, being able to get the right opportunity is to know, you know, which opportunity is the fortuitous one coming in, right? They're not all going to be like that. But when the wheel of fortune is turning, there is a golden opportunity in the air, as it were, right? And are you available to pluck it out? So there's a feeling of wanting to take this, this chance with this person, right? There's a feeling of wanting to take this uh, opportunity, yet and still... Uh, you have this five of swords here. Now, they see you as the fool. You are something fresh and new to them coming into their lives. They have not been with somebody like you before. They see you as somebody who's absolutely independent, someone who's extremely carefree. This can be a little bit disconcerting, certainly. Um, oftentimes, of course, you would say, well, why isn't that a wonderful thing? But th that depends on the person you're dealing with. If the person is coming in as a king of cups with healthy king of cups energy... But reading the rest of these cards, looking ahead, I feel like there's some shadow here, right? And so I think in this reading, for you, it's more or less that, yes, they're very strong and domineering in a, in a way. And it's like you coming in as the fool. You can even see how the two are looking at each other, almost as if to say, wow, I want them. And yet there may be some possession and some jealousy that is coming out, looking at the carefreeness of the fool. Remember, Sagittarius, you are... You can be difficult in that way. Not, not to say it's difficult. I'm a Sagittarius. I totally understand. But if other people see it, it it's a difficulty for people. Uh, not that you can be difficult, but it is difficult for people to deal with your ability to be so self-contained and, you know, and self-sustaining and free in every moment. Because people tend to want to lock you down. Right? Now, what do you both desire? Seven of Cups and a Star. For them... They're seeing this as their, what they've always wanted, their dream, they, wi they wish, their wish. This is their wish come true almost, this relationship, the star. It's something that you, you know, you wish upon a star. It is your ultimate goal and desire in life. And, and that feeding it, of course, the star, there's other aspects to the card of feeding that energy. But when we're talking about the way, what they desire in this relationship, they are desiring to be able to bring this wish to life, that this relationship is very much aligned with what they've wanted and to make it manifest, right? For you, however, Seven of Cups, what you're desiring may be a little bit unrealistic in this relationship. 
right? It may be a little bit unrealistic. There's something going on here with them because for you, Seven of Cups is, you know, pie in the sky. You may, you know, pie in the sky. And this is in a position of what you desire. So it can be that what you're desiring may indeed be a little bit over ambitious. You may be dealing with somebody who's unable to bring that. Okay? You may just. Right? It's interesting, though, that there's this feeling of defeat coming in over the next seven days for you. And yet you have this exalted kind of desire for this relationship. Okay? Let us see. Let us go ahead. What needs to happen? Devil and Three of Swords. So there's also some devil energy here, right? Dealing with some devil energy. Playing with fire. Playing with uh, passion and desire. There can be maybe an over... I, I want to say... Mm, there may be a lot of sex going on here, right? So, because when the devil comes in, and that's in the position of what needs to happen, and we're talking about taming those passions. Are we becoming too addicted to certain things in this connection? Are there shadow sides of this relationship that are um, that may be may be stopping you from realizing what you really want here, right? So the devil is coming in to remind us to deal with some of this, whatever the shadow side is, right? For them, three of swords, there is a, a there is a, uh, I want to say, a betrayal that they have to deal with. There's a sense of betrayal that they're dealing with. Something is going on here with them, as with this three of swords, for that to be in a position of what needs to happen. We need some clarity here, but it can be that they feel very betrayed, we come back to the fool here, how they see you, it can be that um, there is some energy from King of Cups that has come out of a betrayal that they need to deal with here with that Three of Swords, okay? We have too many cards here with some shadow on them uh, to feel like this is a straightforward kind of, right? Panther comes in, there's an event that may come in or that has come in that has shaken this up a little bit, All right? Remember, self-care and self-love. Show me some clarity on this reading, please. Uh, it's very interesting, especially with devil to come in. Show me some clarity on this reading for Sagittarius and their person over the next seven days. Show me. Seven of Pentacles, work, two of Pentacles, wow. Ace of Pentacles, interesting, and a Ten of Swords, damn. Money, situation, um, there is chaos here. There's been some chaos here. There's opportunity for money coming in. There's something here to do with money, tangible things, material things, right? Uh, Seven of Pentacles, uh, <sighs> There's an issue of being happy with what is coming, what is coming into fruition here, right? Are you happy with with what is coming out of the work that you're putting in here? Okay, Two of Pentacles is coming in. Also, there is a feeling of chaos here, of juggling uh, from one to the next. There may be some financial issues, or there may be something about this relationship that is impacting your finance as well. When we come back to the devil, if you're dealing with excesses, vices, drugs, drinking, things that cost money, there may be throwing, this may be throwing something off in a relationship here. Ace of Pentacles, there is an opportunity here for, I want to say, um, there's abundance to come in material physical environmental abundance to come in but it has to be worked for seven of cups uh, there again that seven of cups reminds me that there's some un, 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 unrealistic expectations here but oftentimes expectations are unrealistic because we don't put the work in there may be a boon you have wheel of fortune panther Ace of Pentacles, there may be something happening over the next seven days, Sagittarius, that is like an event that comes in that helps with this uh, feeling, sense of stability, financial stability, right? Job, golden opportunity, money, money may begin to increase. Ten of Swords comes in, though. There is something that has happened that has really broken someone, and they're coming out of it a changed person. 
right? Ten of Swords very much talks about that final straw and then enough is enough. Having had enough fights, arguments, you know, having had enough blows to the ego, right? And this may be something to reconcile here for both of you, right? Because Ten of Swords is kind of like that last straw. You finally decide to, like, stop engaging in things that hurt you. And also, there are certain things that can't hurt you anymore because you're just not affected like that anymore. It's like your ego becomes smaller. It resonates up, but, but what we want is the ego to get smaller. We want the ego to become smaller as the spirit becomes bigger, right? Uh... And so, Ten of Swords is an evolution of the ego, you know, having had enough pain in certain areas that you are now stronger for it, and those things don't hurt you anymore. So, there is something to overcome here in this relationship. There is Three of Swords betrayal energy here. Uh, wherever that is coming from, again, it feel like very much that this is a lot more to do with the way they see you as being the fool here. And then also with this financial issue here, this issue to do with money. When the devil and two of pentacles and that chaos comes in together, we also have panther. It can be that just a realization of too much excess and having to juggle too much to sort of keep it all up. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading. Twin flame, uh, excuse me, twin flame. Outlook for the next seven days, Sagittarius. Um, all right, I might do a shadow reading for you later on. I've been saying that for all the fire signs today because they've all had a little bit of shadow in their readings. But um, I'll see. I want to get through the other ones, the other twin flame signs first, and then I'll come back to you. But for right now, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye-bye now.